Welcome to Vocabulary TV. This is our 23rd video on roots, prefixes and suffixes in an English vocabulary. The theme for this video is the Latin root vag which means to wander or roam or move about and several words and phrases as seen hanging on the tree branches can be easily memorized using this root connection. The first word that we are going to cover is vagrant. The word was originally used to denote a person who used to wander a lot. Though nowadays, vagrant is used to refer to such persons who do not have a settled home or regular work and who wander from place to place and live by begging. The word can be used both as a noun and as an adjective in this meaning. For example, if I say the vagrant and the likes of him eke the living doing odd jobs from boot polishing to selling flowers to rag picking and sometimes simply begging, vagrant is a noun here. And as an adjective, the word vagrant would describe any person who wanders a lot and moves from place to place. That is to say, one who lives the life of a vagrant. Like in this sentence, the vagrant alcoholic found shelter in a shed which had been lying unused for years. In a literary sense, the same word can describe something that wanders idly or moves or behaves unpredictably and is inconstant. For example, I can say that my vagrant thoughts take me to far away places. A related word is vagrancy, which is a noun and refers to the state of living as a vagrant and being homeless. An example sentence would be, the economic depression has led to widespread unemployment and vagrancy among people. Now this suggests that they are just wandering about in search for a living. One of the most interesting words based on this root is vagaries. You would mostly encounter this word in the phrase vagaries of weather, though it can also be used in other situations. Vagaries means an unexpected and inexplicable change in a situation or in someone's behavior. For example, do you remember the kick scene in Chennai Express where Deepika starts behaving as if she is possessed by a spirit? Her sudden inexplicable behavior can be described as one of her vagaries. Coming to the more popular use of the word vagaries, the cricket tournament fell victim to the vagaries of the Indian weather when it rained for three consecutive days and the final was eventually called off. Now, let's discuss vague, which is one of the common words in English based on this root. Well, if something is vague, it is uncertain or unclear in its meaning or character. For example, someone might give you vague or unclear directions for your destination. Another example sentence would be, In the dark, he saw vague shadows that could very well have been zombies inching towards him. Here, vague again means the shadows were not clearly perceptible. You might even encounter a lot of sentences in English which are not clear in meaning or intention. Like, look at this sentence. Sita told Geeta that her mother had met with an accident. Now, whose mother has met with an accident? Is it Sita's or Geeta's? Is not clear from this sentence. So, the sentence is very vague. The related noun would be vagueness and we can see that the listener is puzzled by the vagueness of the Sita Gita conversation. Next word is extravagant, made up of extra meaning beyond or outside of and vagary meaning wander. The word extravagant literally means to go beyond wandering and hence to diverge greatly from what is the norm. and the exclusive context where this word is used is when one diverges greatly from what are the norms of decent expenditure. That is, typically when one spends too much and lacks restraint in spending money or using resources. Look at this picture. The dress is so embellished and lavish that it looks over expensive and wasteful. This pic is of Liberis who was an iconic entertainer of the 1970s era and was known for his flamboyance an extravagant sense of style in dressing. Similarly, 
the word could be used to describe someone's lifestyle which is full of all luxuries indulging in such excessive or wasteful spending of money would be called extravagance which is a noun extravaganza is a related word which refers to an elaborate and spectacular entertainment or production and the best example that occurs to me is that of pizza extravaganza which is perhaps named that way to convey the elaborate and extensive mix of toppings on the pizza next we have the word divagate the word is made of prefix di which means widely and vagary meaning wander so divagate means to stray or digress and this word is mostly used in a literary sense an example would be the lawyer had a tendency to divagate from the topic and so the judge commanded him to stick to the facts of the case and the last of the words we are going to cover is vagabond this word is similar to vagrant though it might not necessarily refer to a beggar interestingly this word can be used as a noun or adjective and even as a verb and refers to a person who wanders from place to place mostly without a settled home or job an example sentence is in india he wandered about like a vagabond for about a year in a religious and spiritual quest thereby getting a renewed inspiration to start up his own it firm such roaming about could be referred as vagabondage which is a noun now test your understanding of the words learned in this lesson by filling in the blanks below it is recommended that you pause the video when the timer starts here is some other trivia like in anatomy we have the vagus nerves which are perhaps named that way because the vagus nerve wanders all the way down from the brain stem to the colon which is a long wandering way and that brings us to the end of this video hope you liked it subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos thank you